Hey everyone, views man coming at you and hope this video finds you doing super well. Now, pretty short video today. I just wanted to, one, highlight this project that's behind me and two, get your guys' feedback as to what parts of this project you would like to see as tutorials because honestly, this video <laughs> was meant to be a very short tutorial on just a very simple Thanos-like snap. So let me go ahead and toss up the final effect that I've been working on on screen just so that you can see what it looks like. It's a very simple sandbox, so there's really not that much going on. It's just something where I could quickly and easily test a snap and then from there see what the visual effects would look like. I could also go ahead and test this in Unity, but there's, as you'll probably learn as I go throughout this series of videos on this uh, project, sometimes what you see in Unity will end up turning out very differently from what you see in the headset. This project really, it was, it started as something very simple. It was literally me saying, I wanna learn Shader Graph. I haven't played around with it before. And you start Googling things. I ended up watching Bracky's Dissolve video and that's when I kind of got the idea, oh, why don't we work on something kind of close to a, to a Thanos-like snap? So I built that out as a very simple, project and that was kind of what was going to be the premise for just a tutorial uh, but didn't look quite right didn't feel quite right so I wanted to spend some more time and iterate on it so that's what I've been doing for the past two three weeks now and as I mentioned before shaders have never really been my strong suit it's something that I needed to pick up and learn and so as a result that's what I've been doing so uh, I'll link to two tutorials that I found extremely useful for building this effect down below in the description so go ahead and check those guys out uh, they've been insanely useful just to get my feet wet with shaders and if there's one thing I can stress from having done this project right now and kind of getting it to the state where it is right now it's that even if there are areas in Unity that you aren't specifically uh, familiar with or competent in using, there are so many resources out there that if you just put in a little bit of effort, and even if, if those like tutorials are not perfect, you can get yourself up to speed pretty quickly. And I think that's kind of what's really cool about Unity in the first place and kind of what's cool about kind of the developer ecosystem behind it. So I really want to stress that specific point, And I think it's, it's so important, especially if you're early in, in Unity development, or if you've been around in the space for a while, like I have, there's still stuff that you are learning and exploring, and it, it's always kind of new and refreshing in that sense. So uh, yeah, those resources kind of help build out, especially kind of more of the particle side of things, as well as just kind of getting a shader that felt good. From Bracky's video, we, we have kind of an okay-ish uh, dissolve effect. It's very random and kind of scattered, and it, it doesn't directionally dissolve, which is what you might see in Infinity War. So I wanted to work on a dis directional dissolve. So we went with the directional dissolve. That was one of the tutorials I mentioned. Uh, that was built in the built-in render pipeline. So I had to convert that over to shader graph. And that process was in a learning curve in and of itself. And on top of that, getting, getting the particles to work was completely new territory. Uh, and again, another learning curve. But you just kind of, if you want to get an effect to look good, that's what you kind of got to do is just kind of keep iterating, keep iterating. And that's so important to kind of anything in VR in particular. That's kind of how I've built up this project. And I'll probably toss a, a couple screenshots of the shader graph as well as the visual effect graph, just to kind of get a sense for what it ends up looking like. And those will be two separate videos that we'll, we'll work on down the road because they're honestly quite complicated. And there's so many topics once you start digging into shaders that you need to start learning about both from the math side of things, as well as kind of how shader graph works and how shaders work in general. So there's really a lot of topics to go over there. I'm really excited to talk about all of those, but it's gonna take a little bit of time to get there. But fundamentally at its core, this project is really, you can kind of break it down into four key components. And this is where I could use your guys' feedback on what you'd wanna see. The first part being very simply, uh, just using the Oculus Hand SDK to get a snap to work. And that's gonna be a mix of really using the example train scene to A, get that pinching interaction, which is very straightforward, and that's really all a snap is, is a pinch. And you can just check the strength to, to kind of define how fast or slow you want the pinch to be. And on top of that is also the cone ray cast. So both of those are super helpful. And I actually just learned that as a version 13, uh, we're getting Oculus Link to work with Oculus hand tracking. So 
that should hopefully speed up the development process, which I'm really excited to play around with. I just, I got the news literally as I'm recording this, so I'm really excited about that. And on top of that, uh, there's getting Universal Render Pipeline to work with Oculus Quest, and more specifically, hand tracking, because hand tracking was built using the built-in render pipeline. So the second you introduce Universal Render Pipeline into the mix, it starts to break a bunch of things. And so there, there are some mechanics and switches that you need to enable and disable to make things work correctly. But uh, that in and of itself is a whole separate video. Uh, and then the third and fourth things are things I mentioned earlier, which is going to be creating a directional dissolve effect and having that work really well and seamlessly. So that's one or two videos. It might be more depending on how in depth you guys would be looking to go with that type of stuff. And the, the fourth component there is the visual effect graph. So that's what lets you do effectively a compute shader is kind of what it's simulating. We did a compute shader video ages ago at this point, and it was very simply just to have your controller wave it around and have a bunch of particles kind of streamline and flow around, if you will. Uh, definitely a fun project, but uh, I think visual effect graph makes this a lot easier to work with now. And so yeah, that, that's kind of the end effect of kind of having those particles that fly off characters and kind of dissipate into the air that really kind of sell the effect that yes, you are actually making this character disappear. Uh, and so those are kind of the four key components there. And really what I would love to see is uh, which of those parts you're most interested in, most excited for, um, and would help out the most. And kind of based on that, I can help prioritize different types of videos uh, that would be the most helpful for you guys moving into the future. And my goal is eventually to get all of those kind of four components built out of separate videos. Hopefully can get them on a cadence of maybe two, three, four weeks, uh, fingers crossed. But uh, that, that would be the goal for that. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm actually really excited about the effect in general. I think it feels really well with hand tracking and uh, might be something that I play a little bit more with and see uh, if there are other game mechanics that kind of fit with uh, just basically creating a snap um, or anything that can supplement it to, to add to the game design of something potentially we might build. I don't know. No, nothing concrete there, but it's definitely something I want to play around with a little bit more. If it's manifest into something, that would be really awesome. But if it doesn't, there's definitely a lot of learnings that I'd be happy to share with you guys. So that pretty much does it for this video. And again, looking forward to hearing what you guys think as to what you would like to see moving forward. And also make sure to smash the like button if you are excited for any of this stuff. It definitely helps out the channel a ton. So with all of that said, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's been Fuse Man and I'm signing out.